Thanks for joining me today. We're looking again at some of the events from Holy Week, the final days of Jesus' life before his death and resurrection. We're looking at the tension between the fact that Jesus is the king and yet not everything in the world is as it should be. And so today we're gonna to read from Luke chapter 20. Jesus has been teaching in the temple courts. He's been having debates with those who oppose him and a debate has arisen about whether he could be the Messiah and uh, a debate about how to interpret scripture. We're gonna read from Luke 20, starting with verse 41. Jesus said to them, the Sadducees, how can they say that the Christ is David's son? For David himself says in the book of Psalms, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. David thus calls him Lord, so how is he his son? And in the hearing of all the people, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and love greetings in the marketplaces and the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at feasts who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers they will receive the greater condemnation. Again, we see Jesus holding two things together here. On the one hand, he's absolutely confident that he is the king. He says, I am the Messiah. I am one who is greater than David. The logic Jesus uses is he says, look, if we read the text uh, David writes in Psalm 110, that the Lord God said to someone sitting at his right hand, you are my Lord. David wrote those words. David acknowledged that someone else was his Lord, that someone else is the Messiah. Jesus says, I am the Messiah. I am David's Lord. I'm the one who fulfills everything that kingship over God's people is supposed to be. Jesus is absolutely confident that he is the king. Yet he turns around and immediately says, not everything is as it should be in this world. Not everything is aligned with my kingdom right now. And he critiques the leaders of God's people who are in it for profit and personal gain. Jesus is the king, but everything is not yet as it should be. That's the tension that we live in. That's the tension that Jesus lived with in these final days of his life. Why is it important for us to see that? Well, yesterday we saw that some people carry a burden of false guilt. Today, some of us wear a mask. I'm really a strong person of faith, therefore I can't ever let anyone see fear in me. I have to wear a mask. I'm really a person of great joy in the fact that Jesus is the Lord and the King, therefore I could never really show deep sadness. I have to wear a mask. And today Jesus lets us take the mask off. And to be honest and say, I can be just as confident as Jesus was, that he really is the king. And yet, I can also look at this world and say, there is much in it that is not right. It's not as it should be. I can hold together that faith in him and that concern about what's broken in our world. I can hold together this very real sadness with this very real faith in him. When we do that, we're not denying that Jesus is Lord. We're simply saying our Lord is one who held together crucifixion joy with resurrection sorrow. We're affirming that this Jesus is our Lord when we hold faith and fear together and we offer both to him. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you are the crucified and resurrected Lord. You don't call us to wear a mask to hide the fact that we know the world is broken. We don't have to hide our sadness or our fear, but we can stand before you and say we're absolutely confident that you are the Lord of everything, and yet we know not everything in this world is aligned with your Lordship as you intend it to be. Would you help us as we feel that tension as a, and as we learn from you how to live in that place of crucifixion sorrow held together with resurrection joy we long to learn from you, our Lord Jesus. We pray in your name. Amen. Thanks for letting me be with you for a few minutes.